YouTube lights up the subscribe button when you say subscribe to my channel. Listen to this and watch the subscribe button below. Here, hopefully you enjoyed the video, so be sure to like and subscribe for more MMO content and a massive shout out for my YouTube. Did you see that? The subscribe button glows when this YouTuber said subscribe to my channel. YouTube isn't magic. It transcribes your videos so it knows when you say the subscribe magic keyword and so that's how it knows to light up the subscribe button for people watching your video that are not subscribed to your channel. Let me show you one of my videos. Roll it! The next episode, click the subscribe button if you like my content on the Freedom Central channel. You saw the effect. That's why you should always end your videos with, and if you like this content, subscribe to my channel so that you too can get this glow up effect that delights the audience and gives you a few more subscribers than if you didn't say it. And YouTube is always improving. This is the latest feature that I noticed out of the blue that exists now on our channel. They announced it a long time ago, but it didn't work for a long time. Now it works. Test it on your channel. Do the same thing. Create an unlisted video if you have to. Say those magic words. Watch your video using an account that is not subscribed to your channel and see if it works for you. If it does, you know what to do. End your videos with subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Now YouTube is always improving, but so is Heartbeat. This is our latest version of Heartbeat. You can see the version in the bottom left corner. We're now at 2.71.1. <laughs> and some of our newest features include Vickies. What are Vickies? Video Wikis. Simply click here, the Vickies tab. So start by going to www h.ki, h key is our website address, then click Vickies. Here I created a few Vickies about Hercules, the legendary journeys, about Elon Musk on the Joe Rogan experience, and about infinitesimal intervals, which is a calculus term. You can do the same. And let me give you some of these highlights. What are infinitesimal intervals? Let's have a look what an infinitesimal interval is and how you can traverse from one end to the other. And, you know, they'll look at you as though you've got two heads. I ask that all the time. <laughs> this was a question asked by, of the smartest man in the world. This is, according to this video, the smartest man in the world. Why? Because he has an IQ of over 200. And apparently Albert Einstein only had an IQ of like 160. Let me just quickly segue to that section click this moment. IQ is where you focus. You can focus, marshal all your intellectual energy and focus it very tightly on one item. That you've... So he's talking about why IQ tests are bad. They don't ind indicate true intellectual quotient because they focus only on one item at a time. What else is IQ supposed to measure? He explains. There is also aperture. Think of the mind as a kind of camera. Hmm. Okay, what a lot of high IQ people have a lot of difficulty doing is widening their mental aperture. Hmm. You've got to be flexible. You've got to be able to widen and narrow that aperture at. So he's saying, the guy with the world's highest IQ, that IQ is a bad measure of intelligence because it doesn't include your breadth. You can think about depth, but that's only part of the problem. You also need to be thinking about bread, how things connect. Now, I remember reading that truly inventors, like the geniuses who make things, they're the ones who can pull pieces of information that are completely unrelated together and see a connection no one else can see. That's how Steve Jobs created a lot of the unique features in Apple computers that made Apple a billion dollar company. There are very few people who can see breadth, aperture. So if you're interested in this content, watch the video. And back to the original question about infinitesimal intervals, what I did is I asked Gemini. And here's Gemini's answer, gemini.google.com. It's Google's version of ChatGPT. It actually talks about how infinitesimals are these super tiny spaces. It's a theoretical mathematical concept. It doesn't exist. There's no number that's an infinitesimal number because this definition is it's the smallest number greater than zero that cannot be re represented by an actual number. And it talks about how real numbers aren't part of the standard real number system that we use for everyday measurements. 
because they're infinitely small, meaning any step you take, no matter how tiny, would be larger than the interval itself. So what, what good are they if you can't represent them in the, in the number system? So I said, deeper dive, and Gemini said, okay, let's dive deeper into how infinitesimals are used in calculus. And the punchline is, they're used for calculating areas under a curve. Let's say you have y equals x squared, which is a very smooth, always changing parabola. And you want to calculate the area from x equals zero to x equals one under that curve. Well, you have to use calculus, which is basically using the concept of infinitesimals to calculate smaller and smaller rectangles. They're basically slicing up that curve into smaller and smaller rectangles. And the limit as those rectangles get to zero give you the true area under the curve. It's not a square or a triangle or any regular geometric shape, which we all know the formulas of. It's a curve and uh, it's really a function of limits. That's how they are practically applied. The limit as the width of those little rectangles approaches zero gives you the actual area under the curve. My point is, Gemini did a pretty good job explaining it and I would encourage you to try it out or ChatGPT or Grok, which is uh, Elon Musk's new AI engine at x.ai. So beyond learning about infinitesimal, infinitesimals from the smartest, highest IQ person in the world, I mentioned Elon Musk on the Joe Rogan experience. Let me show you that, Vicky. Show me the man and I'll show you the crime. Right. They just, they just, they, they like, they decide that you're the target and then they figure out the crime afterwards. Show me the man, I will show you the crime. It's a famous quote that means guilty until proven innocent, basically. And in this particular section, Elon is criticizing the US Department of Justice for going after SpaceX, suing them for not hiring enough asylum seekers when there's another law that says they cannot hire any non-US resident in a space technology company. So they're competing concepts. How can you hire asylum seekers when you're not allowed to hire asylum seekers? So why are you suing me, Department of Justice, sir? And they talk a lot about other interesting topics uh, where Joe Rogan even thanked Elon for buying Twitter, which is the now renamed X. Here's that quote. Thank you so much for buying Twitter. You're Thank welcome. you so much. I'm not exaggerating when I think you changed the course of history. I really do. I really So Joe Rogan's point is Twitter was becoming a very closed system, censorship. They were removing factual posts that the owners for some reason didn't want on the platform. And Elon turned that around. When he acquired Twitter, he removed all of these censorship rules and opened up the platform. If you remember, Donald Trump was platform meaning he was banned from Twitter <laughs> Elon brought him back to Twitter he said sorry sir you're welcome to use our platform to express yourself we don't know why you were banned by the previous owners but new owner new rules come on back now at the time Trump actually created his own social network called truth social so I think he's active there not on X formerly Twitter anymore but my point is, Elon did a lot to improve the openness and transparency of Twitter slash X, and Joe is thanking him for that effort. It only cost him $44 billion. That was the acquisition price, I believe, uh, to buy Twitter. Bring back fond memories? That's what Heartbeat is about. It's moments that matter to you to capture the things that you've remembered in the past or that you are just seeing now for the first time that's really cool on YouTube, on uh, anything you've already seen on Heartbeat, you can press H to capture those moments so you can come back to them, share them, uh, have a laugh, learn something, how to cook a duck. If you click on my moments tab, you can see all of my latest moments, which I created even for making this video, this subscribe button lights up on your YouTube. I just showed that to you at the beginning of this video, so I'm able to capture that, to jump to it, to make a video about it. So you YouTubers can use it to make your videos, to capture the scenes you want to discuss in your videos more easily because 
Heartbeat lets you jump to the second, to the millisecond, to the exact frame that you want to capture. It's that accurate. Let me give you another example here of the Department of Justice ending the Trump criminal case. Play it. Department of Justice is said to be winding down the multiple criminal cases they have against him because of their longstanding policy. It says a sitting president can't be prosecuted, but don't. Now, Jimmy Kimmel, he's a comedian, and he actually says a lot of funny things. In this case, he's giving you some factual information, but he also jokes about it, such as what's next? Corey, James Comer, the chairman of the House Oversight Committee, is still on the important case of Hunter Biden. You're going to pursue more charges. <laughs> so as we know, Hunter Biden, which is Joe Biden's, the current president's son, was being prosecuted by the Department of Justice, some believe unfairly, too aggressively. And you can read about all or listen to all that by going to my heartbeat. Just search for my name, George Venus, in heartbeat. You will see the guy with 183 followers right here is me. And then if you click my moments tab right here, you can just scroll down and see it. Now, if you want to just see my favorites, here they are. I encourage you to do the same. Click that heart icon while watching any moment to mark it as a favorite. What that'll do is it will surface it in this tab so you can just focus on your favorite moments like this one. Look at this, guys. And so cool. He's mixing slow motion camera with fast motion. Here's another egg. He'll break it and then he'll put it back together. But the cool thing is he's combining these things. Slow motion with real time. <laughs> cool moments. So if you see cool moments like that, just press H and mark them as favorite, the ones that your favorite, the ones that are your favorites. Let's try this one. I thought she was with you. Oh. She with you. I thought she was with you. She with you. I thought she was with you. One of the most memorable quotes from Batman v Superman, where they introduced Wonder Woman for the very first time in a movie together with Batman and Superman, also for the first time. Now, if you like this moment like I did, see this little heart? I ch clicked it. That makes it a favorite. If I thought this was a favorite, 847 million. $74 million globally. The film fell. And I click this little heart. Now it's another favorite. And if I want to unfavorite it, I just click it again. That's it. That's how you collect your favorite moments in your heartbeat. All right, guys. So hope you enjoy what we are building for you on Heartbeat. Heartbeat is a publishing platform that pays you for creating quality content, even if it gets no views. Yes, even if it gets zero views, you will get paid every month, forever, on the 18th, because that's our payment schedule and that's our brand promise to you. We pay for quality content, even if it gets no views, because we believe in the future it will get views through our efforts or your efforts, where we will promote your content as any good platform should, so that we will drive views to deserving moments, Vickies, photos. And then that's how we will make our money back in the future. But in the present, we are actually paying you from our pocket if we pay you for creating quality content that gets no views because we're not making any money from it. But we're so happy to pay you because we want to reward good creators who are spending the time creating accurate titles, correct start times, and meaningful descriptions for content on Heartbeat, which everyone can enjoy and benefit from. I mean, look at the last 24 hours. This is all the content that other people have created on Heartbeat. There's almost, there's over 3,000 of you now, signed in users, who are making this content. Now, if you click Recent, these are the most recent uh, verified moments. And if you just click All when you're signed in, it shows you new moments. Every time you refresh the browser, you get a different set of moments, just like on youtube.com. But when you click recent, it's always the same moments sorted from latest first. That's why it's called recent. Explore the super tags along the top. Here are the 
best of George moments as voted by me. Look at the comedy moments. Look at the music moments. And of course, I saved the best for last. Look at the women moments. These are some of the best females on Heartbeat. <laughs> for all you men out there who uh, appreciate beautiful women. So I encourage you to check all this out and tell us down there in the comments below the link to your Heartbeat so we can follow your Heartbeat as well. Heartbeat is a social network. Here are all the creators on Heartbeat sorted by follower count, like subscriber count on YouTube. And you can also sort by moments. Who has the most moments? I don't have the most moments on this platform. I'm number three. Which were the last updated Heartbeats? Again, mine is not the most recent. I'm number six as the most recent user of Heartbeat. So you can see there's a lot of people, a lot of activity on the platform, and I encourage you to join in and be part of the Heartbeat family. Let's all help each other grow together as a family, the Heartbeat family and the Freedom family. All right, we'll end it there. Who am I? I am your Papa George, your George Sunpai, your Obi-Wan George Nobi, and many other names that you, the beautiful Heartbeat and Freedom families, have given me. I am the CEO and founder of Heartbeat and Freedom, and we we'll all help each other grow together as a family. That's our brand promise to you. All right, I see my uh, video is getting a little sparkles up there. That means uh, nighttime has fallen. And let me show you what nighttime looks like here in Dubai. This is uh, nighttime. These are my ring lights, <laughs> and this is my room, and this is my green screen, which if I roll up, you'll see my uh, non-green screen. This is how my home looks like without a chroma key hiding the background. <laughs> All right, guys, yeah, this is really uh, getting annoying up here. So let me end the video by saying, make sure you get your exercise. I'm gonna go to the gym or jogging. I'm not even sure yet. Later today, before it gets too late, I encourage you to do the same. Stay healthy and fit, which will make you happy and live longer. <laughs> All right, guys, till the next episode. I am George. Oh, I forgot the ending, the whole point of this video. If you like this content, click the subscribe button so you can never miss a video from The George Show. And tell me what you like or don't like about this content in the comments below, and then click the like button if you do like it. All right, mission accomplished. Do the same in all of your videos, and we'll see you on the next one. I am George, and you've been watching. You're dreaming about love, yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.